way into the hospital for Eleanor to be seen with a leg. Hopefully she's getting the pot off. She's, she's getting quite speedy on the um, crutches now. Dying to see what it looks like, aren't you? No. <laughs> I am. <laughs> You're all right. It's alright, love. Don't worry. Ooh. What? Hi. So we've had a lot of people asking exactly what Eleanor's had done, um, because I don't think I've fully explained it. So I'll just explain to people. In your in your foot, you have a bone called a navicular bone, and in some people, for some reason, they grow an extra one called an accessory navicular bone, which is kind of on the side side of your foot. Um, can't really demonstrate. But this grows and it sticks out a little bit and it rubs, it hurts when you walk. Eleanor went to the podiatrist for a few years and tried the inner soles um, and other things, putting ice on it. Um, but she used to be in agony with her feet. So this operation, what happens is they, they cut the tendon at the side of the foot. They shave off this extra bone and then they reattach the tendon, stitch it back up. Um, so at the moment, the, the wound did look like it had um, healed quite nicely, but she's got to keep it immobilised so the tendon can repair and join back on where it should be properly. So that's why she's having this burn. She's also got it on the other foot, so she will be having another operation um, in three to six months, hopefully, when this one's fully got better so it's quite hard to explain you might not really understand but basically she's got an extra bone in her foot that causes her a lot of pain that she's had to have removed and tendon cut and reattached so hope for that hopefully that explains um makes it a bit more clear what she's had done right so just thought i would show you on eleanor's other foot you can't, you can't see really that. see it but this is I the bone you, you won't be able to so here, this Stop. is the part. Stop, people don't like seeing feet. Well, sorry, I just wanted to explain where it was because some people are asking, that's all. And I've got scabs because my cast was rubbing against yeah, the Yeah, she kept foot. banging her foot with the, the right, cast. So I just wanted it. to talk about this uh, mental health video, or mental illness as Chris calls it. I really think that people have kind of misunderstood what my commentary was about. It was not at all to make fun of any mental health difficulties. Not at all. I myself suffer from anxiety. I've been diagnosed with a generalised anxiety disorder and I do take tablets for that every day. I also have had uh, bouts of depression in the past and I know how horrible it is. Um, anybody suffering with mental health difficulties, it's, it's really horrible. What I didn't like about Chris is I felt that he did it for sensationalism and basically he never said really anything about mental health. For a start off he called it a mental illness which I don't think is right. 
it shouldn't be labelled as a mental illness. It's a difficulty that, you know, with therapy, CBT treatment um, and medications in some cases, counselling, you can you can live with it and you can have a happy and fulfilled life if you get if you get help, um, which many people do. I just felt that he basically spoke about himself. Uh, yeah, he were, he were bullied at school. Um, and he found skating. And then he kind of bigged himself up about his ear levels and how brilliant he was. He never said that he'd been diagnosed with um, OCD. So I think it's a self-diagnosis, which can be a little bit dangerous. Um, and he never kind of... I don't know. It's just my subjective opinion. I don't. I don't think it was helpful to people with any kind of mental health difficulties. I found it a little bit of an insult as somebody who does suffer from anxiety because the way he spoke about it, sitting in a petrol station in the dark, like it was something, some dark secret. Um, that's what I found a little bit weird. And also because these girls that he did message. Uh, all had mental health difficulties and Sarah even dismissed one of the girls saying oh we are aware of this the girl has got mental health problems as if that was some kind of get out clause for Chris um, the fact that she may or may not have had some mental health difficulties is irrelevant uh, apart from it makes her more vulnerable and therefore even it's even more disgusting that she was taken advantage of, allegedly. And uh, yeah, other, other girls that messaged Chris um, saying that they were suffering badly with mental health symptoms and he suggested to meet up with them inappropriately. So that's what really got on my nerves, ground my gears kind of thing about Chris doing this little what I saw as another pity party, poor me. Uh, what How sad am I? P people feel sorry for me. That's what I thought. And I thought it was really hypocritical when he has done what he's done to these uh, young women who all suffered from mental health difficulties or were vulnerable in some way. And I would just like to say that all these people say, well, he's not being charged, he's done nothing. I still get messages from people confiding in me saying that things have happened uh, with Chrissingham, inappropriate things. And I do what I think anyone should do if this does happen, is that you advise the um, people to speak to somebody about it as soon as they can, someone they trust, an adult, um, a teacher, the pe well, the parents in the first instance, obviously, but anybody that they, they trust. Or you can also ring um, Childline and get advice. Um, if you've got a social worker, then you definitely need to speak to them about it and just be aware that you will be believed and um, it's not your fault. So don't ever think that it's something that you've done because it's not, it's not your fault, it's, it's other people who are in a position of trust and these people look up to them. And there's definitely a loophole, I think, in the law um, that allows this with 16 to 18 year olds especially, but I think any age, if somebody's got any kind of vulnerability, um, these people that are looked up to should not be able to abuse their position. That's, that's just my point of view. So, sorry if it has offended anybody with mental health difficulties. I really am truly sorry if it's offended anyone. That was not my intention at all. Um, as I say, I know many, I work with many people who've got really severe mental health difficulties, illnesses, schizophrenia, um, other things. And I know how terrible it can be, but I, I didn't think that Chrissingham... I think he did it for himself, basically. That's just my opinion. So hopefully, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video, and make sure to give us a big thumbs up and um, like and subscribe to our channel, please. <laughs>
I've been thinking 